The Senate is the next stop for controversial environmental legislation that cleared the House Friday. We've told you a lot of what is in this measure. Tonight, correspondent Brian Wilson reports on what's in the fine print and who's actually read it. Democratic leaders call the climate change bill a landmark piece of environmental and energy legislation that could dramatically reduce greenhouse gas emissions in the United States. As passed, the bill is 1,300 pages long. The last 300 pages added just hours before the House debate began. But how many members of Congress have actually taken the time to read the bill to find out what's in it? We decided to take a random sampling. We'll start with... Bob Inglis, Republican from the 4th District of South Carolina. A quick and succinct response from his spokesman, no, he did not. A spokesman for Democrat Steve Cohen of Tennessee answered that Congressman was familiar with what's in the bill. A spokesman for Montana Republican Dennis Reberg said on the record, we'd prefer not to comment. Two other House Democrats did not respond to our question. But now that interested parties have had a few days to leaf through the bill, some are voicing concerns. Home builders, for example, are on board with making new homes more energy efficient, but fear requirements to improve energy efficiency by 30 percent in the first year is asking too much. This is just a huge ramping up to very aggressive targets too soon and the cost will get passed along to the consumer. And that would come at a time when new home builders are already having a tough time selling homes. Fewer new homes means fewer people working in construction jobs. House Republican leader John Boehner believes the bill will actually kill off a lot of jobs across the board. If you look at this bill, and you look at the analysis of this bill, you'll see that two and a half million jobs on average will be lost each and every year over the next 10 years as a result of this bill. You'd probably expect the House Minority Leader to be against the bill. But you might be surprised to learn the measure is also opposed by the left-leaning Friends of the Earth. The environmental group sent a letter to supporters insisting the bill was, quote, corrupted by polluting special interests as well as corporate agribusiness and Wall Street. The group goes on to say the House bill is counterproductive. If the Friends of the Earth didn't like the compromises made to get the measure passed in the House, they probably will not like the compromises necessary to get any bill out of the Senate. And Brett, very quickly, one Hill Democratic source contacted me a short time ago to say they completely discount Boehner's claims the bill will kill jobs. They insist it will actually add two million jobs. We'll let them fight that one out, Brett. A telephone directory can be dangerous for That's the congressman. Right. <laughs> All right, Brian, thank you. No problem.